So, because we only have two months before we leave, we're like in crunch time for what do we need to get done? What are we gonna do while we're on our way? But what are the big things that we can't do unless we have a hardware store nearby? Boat project day is rainy and cold and yucky and miserable, so I can't do a lot out here. I can't go work on sales call because all the fiberglass is too cold for resin to kick, so we're gonna be stuck in the boat. Um, got lots to do though. Hello. Oh, hi, right there. Good morning. What are, you, what are you doing today? Uh, productivity. It's uh, crappy and raining outside. So I am taking over the clubhouse with my hashtag stitch bitch. And, um, the Top Gun that I bought is too wide. Um, so it's supposed to go just around the edge here, about half inch each way. And I bought two inch stripping. So dumb on my part. But not really because I got twice what I need for the same price. <laughs> So it's just dawned on me that even though I'm cutting this in half because I ordered the wrong width, um, it's actually making my life a little bit easier because now I only have to really measure one side of the dodger and I'm going to have the other side already pre-cut and ready to go. So I will call it a win-win. So the first piece of Top Gun was relatively easy because it was just the Top Gun going around the uh, the salvage ed the edge there anyways, so uh, yeah, and then now I'm getting into the more difficult part because I've got to, not only do I have to put the Top Gun on the frayed edges here, I've also got to put the weather stripping on. So it's a little more difficult, a little, little more, you know, stop and smell the roses I suppose, but yeah, well, here we go. I've got a ton of things I have to get done in the boat, like all that stuff. So we're gonna turn the boat into a workshop. It's tool time! With Tim, the tool man of you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, uh, number one on the list is like fix the bathroom faucet. Uh, it's drippy, so we're gonna try to put new little O-rings in it. Um, I don't know anything about plumbing, but I know it's drippy, and I know there's a little black O-rings in there that need to be changed. And then we gotta install some 12 volt outlets and stuff like that. So if we can't go outside because it's rainy, we're gonna do some stuff in here. Shut the water off. Click. Remove the taps. Woo! Got it. It'd probably be easier just to buy a new faucet than to try to fix this thing, but because it has that little spout at the back that goes up to run the shower, that makes it a marine product, which means many, many dollars. And we're not really down with that, so we're gonna try to fix this one. Oh! One. What we're dealing with here is a serious lack of a propane blowtorch. Boat life problem number one. Whenever you need something, you can guarantee it's buried under 10 other somethings. So I found the propane torch. It is in the locker under the bed. Uh, and I can't move the bed because we have the table down to use as a workbench, so I have to... Oh, man. Aha! You'd think fixing a faucet would be like 10 minutes, no problem. Like in your kitchen at home. But on the boat? No. 
takes forever. And you're sweating because you're using a blowtorch inside a boat. Hello. Hi. What are you up to? I just got done my shower. Pack up some things to bring to the clubhouse and uh, get started on. I don't even know what first. Scooby's Dodger. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. Scoobs. Scooby's Dodger. Yeah. All the seamer bing. Yay! We also like pretty high priority is we want to make cubby covers for our, our openings with like twist lock snaps on all four corners. <sighs> Yeah, she got her twist locks, so excited. or whatever they're called. I would call it a twist lock, but yeah. I don't know what it's called. For sure it's a twist lock. But anyway, it's going to go like to all four corners of each opening. So when we go sailing, we can actually just lock them in, and then there's a canvas, solid canvas cover over it, so nothing can fall out. Oh, they're turn buttons. Turn button. My bad. Yeah. Turn button studs. Turn button. Twist lock's little cousin. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Oh, okay. Back to work. It'll be beer 30 soon. Water on. Oh, taps are on. So one of the things we're struggling with in making videos, because we don't know actually how to make videos. Not at all. Is uh, how often between cuts? How long will a viewer actually sit and watch? Is it three seconds? Is it ten seconds? Is it thirty seconds? Um, and what do you want to hear us talk about? Because we can just point the camera at ourselves and talk for days. Very good at that. So am I. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to see? Uh, can you leave it in the comments down below? And then we'll understand more on what to put in the next video. So, like, what should we talk about? How long should we talk? That'd be cool. Anything else? I think that's pretty much it. That's it. All right. Do you want to see more how-to stuff? Because we do a tremendous amount of DIY. Or do you want to skip the how-to stuff? Um, because it's boring. And just see, like, what, what it's like living on a boat. And day-to-day -day life stuff. Or, like, what is how -to, it? how-to, though. Yeah. That's a how-to within itself. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, leave comments. What's up, guys? So, I just got home from work. And, uh had to <laughs> come find my boat down at the gym pole because it's masturbating day so just got her set here she's in I can't hear you babe I'm not talking to you love I'm making a video oh. say hello yes so yeah master's up He's done a whole bunch of witchcraft to it, and he can tell you all about that, because I don't understand it. But this is exciting. We are one step closer to sailing. Yay! So it's a, another productivity day for us today. Um, today I am hanging up the cubby c covers that I made. Um, we had those old rolling doors. like They look like Kit Kats. Um, <laughs> They were hideous and half of them were broken so we decided you know what let's just get rid of them so when we started moving onto the boat we tore all of those out um, i still got some staples to remove from some uh, wood paneling on the inside but for the most part all of the pieces have been removed for the rolling doors and i'm installing these um so just i uh, got some twist locks here and undo those and ta-da! Got to make the new mast boot today, or at least fix the old one, because there's lots of space up there for water to get in, which we don't want. Water in the boat is bad, and if you don't know that, now you do. And just another quick little note here. The head is disgusting, and it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to tidy this up today, too. Um, I mean, again, if we are to go for a shakedown sale, all of this stuff is going to end up on the floor. And just a little uh, pet peeve of mine already with our lovely nature's head. We've got the spray bottle, so when you go number one, you just give it a little squirt. Um, myself, because I know that I sit on the toilet, um, I squirt right there. The guys that don't always sit on the toilet, 
just go ch -ch 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 -ch, and it ends up everywhere else. So every time I have to use the little girl's room, I have to get a wet butt. So there's that. Ooh, it's hot. It's crazy hot right now. Uh, it's supposed to get up to like 90 today. And Candace is doing laundry. Hi, babe. We got our wash stuff in a bucket thing kicking. They dry it up on uh, some ropes. Got a little workshop set up over here doing uh, our companion way boards. Uh, this one was all falling apart and everything, so lots of wood glue, some clamps, a pair of vice grips. Uh, this one, we're just going to sand it down, get some of this varnish off, and I think we're going to go all out epoxy. Uh, speaking of epoxy, I wanted to show you guys our new cockpit table, which is pretty sweet. It turned out really good. Apologize for the music. We're having a nice sunny music summer day. We're good there those look pretty shiny uh and if we can get another five years out of those boards that'd be great uh let's go see what candace is up to hi honey hello what you doing i am peeling off the yacht club sticker because we're not in the windsor yacht club anymore no i mean we go there but... we, we do go there <laughs> jay uh, what's up buddy Quite baked on. Baked on. How you like living on the boat so far? Getting there. Getting there? A lot better than we when we first got here. Yeah. Yeah. How long have we been on the boat? A month. A month. A month. To a day. Boy. Every day we get something else checked off the to-do list, so it's making life easier day by day. Oh, no. One of the really bad parts about our boat is, I mean, we got a good deal on it, and it's very capable of doing what we want, but we got a good deal because the owner at the time wasn't using it, so it sat there rubbing up against the dock for like probably five years. He put it in every year and he changed the oil, but on the sides. It's not pretty. Anyway, so we had new uh, Lady K Sailing uh, logos made that we're gonna put on the side of the boat. But before we can do that, we're gonna have to clean up all of the old name. So, gotta bust out the uh, razor blade and a whole bunch of time. It's gonna be like 100 degrees today though. So, I, uh, I stole an umbrella from one of the neighbors. Just kidding, uh, but we have this umbrella. I'm gonna try to put it on one of the pilings to block the sun so that I can work without getting cancer. Whew, here we go. The expert. He doesn't have a white angle, I'm just a spurt. <laughs> And being as how the mosquitoes started biting last night, hatch screens seem to be very, very high on the list. So our old hatch screens were Velcroed up um, and they kept falling down, which is completely normal because fiberglass and glue just don't work. Um, so I bought this new Velcro, two inch wide strips. Last time we had one inch. And I used the sticky stuff on the back of the Velcro and I put some Gorilla Glue on the sticky stuff and then now that they're sticky stuffed and Gorilla Glued, I'm also gonna put little screws with washers in all four corners of each one. That way, hopefully, they never fall off again. Uh, and then I got a bunch of screen 
So I'm gonna have to measure this and cut it and make some like screen that fits in there because I don't know where the old one went. And then I'm gonna use Candace's sewing machine to sew some Velcro on the screen with some sort of a backing. Hopefully she's got some scrap fabric in there. Boat life. Every time Candace drinks spiced rum, she starts sneezing. So we're gonna film it this time to see what happens. She hasn't had any yet. Boat life! <laughs> Woo! You done sneezing? No. Rum girl? Probably have one or two more. Oh. Give her. And wait, just... Just go. <laughs> so what do you think? We've been living on the boat for how long? One month and almost one week. How do you feel about it? It's getting better every day. Every day. What do you hate? The small space. That's fair. <laughs> Probably won't it's be able to use this footage because it's windy. But... Quite honestly, it's not that bad when it's just the two of us. Yeah. But when, when the kids the are, here, are here, it gets, only back, uh, it gets crazy. It's one of the most important things on a cruising boat that you have to really consider is your anchor. It's arguably the most important thing on any cruising boat. So we did all the research, we looked at every anchor that was available. Um, we did want to try to save money, but not in this area. Uh, I know our things go small, go simple, go now, but the anchor, we're not messing around. So we bought what is also arguably the best anchor in the world. We bought a Rockna. Um, the boat is rated for a 35 pound anchor. Um, by all anchor measurements. Um, this Rockna is 55 pounds, so it's two sizes bigger than we need. Um, we are intending on buying a whole bunch of chain to go with it, but right now we've got 50 feet of 3H chain and about 150 feet of one inch nylon uh, double, brand, double braid. Um, should be lots and lots, it should be enough, but we'll probably get some chain later. What we gotta figure out now, and the big downside to the Rockna is, it doesn't really fit in a bow roller. Um, most people have to modify their bow rollers, which is this guy to accept the Rockna. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to figure out how we're gonna modify this thing to make this Rockna not fall off. We got her strapped up to the bow rail right now. Hi, baby. Hi. What's today? Uh, I'm unemployed day. <laughs> You're unemployed day? I am officially unemployed. As of an hour ago. As of an hour ago. How's it feel? Kind of freaking out a little bit. What do you mean? It's the first time in many, many years that I don't have a paycheck in two weeks or whenever payday is. And it's kind of really scary. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I always make it. Mm. <laughs> I'm retired! Yay! Ish. But now it's stitch bitch time. Stitch bitch time. Stitch bitch time. All the sewing. All the sewing. Well, I mean. Quite a bit of sewing. Sales call wants a bimini. Gary on the hunter over there wants covers for his rear seat. Yeah. What else you got? Us. We need a stack pack because our main cover is shameful. Terry needs his C3 oh. covered for the trawler. For the power bolt, yeah. And some more work for Glenn Malure. Oh, yeah. Scoby? And you done, Scoby? Over yeah, there in the Scobie's yellow boat? Done. He's good. Scoby's done. Holy hell. Um, How hot is it today? It's pretty hot. 30, Not 32, as bad. 33. Not as bad as the past couple days. Piping hot. But quite a bit nicer earlier. I got, here's some things I did. So I put a pendant hanging from the rail there. That's for the dinghy to be towed. I got a dock line up there, a dock line right there. I did the little tube on the rail there. I put all our fishing gear in there. I wound our, I don't know where they are, but I wound our hand reels with 200 pound monofilament. 
Oh yeah, one's right there. The other one's in my car because I'm going to stop and pick up some more stuff for it. But uh, I got the anchor rigged with a pin that goes through it and locks it right in. So now we're good to go on that. I still got to put the road in the thing, but that was most of my day was the anchor. Yep. Sweltering all day. Yeah. Kelly, what are you doing? Right? Oh. You're such a silly goose. <laughs> Oh dear. Always up to no good, these two. We gotta go to Candace's parents tonight for her stepdad's birthday. How old is he? Uh, the big 5 0. 5 0. Holy five -oh. Moses. Wow. The OPP were out here today? Nice. Yeah. Because like uh, we took the dinghy out. Here's the dinghy. So the other day on uh, Saturday or whatever it was, Saturday, we took the dinghy out, just me and Candace, just to cool off, and we shot out toward the lake, and we were in the channel, and the channel's 50 or 60 feet wide, and just entered the channel coming out of here and going out into the lake, and you can't deviate from the channel, it gets like a foot deep, so everybody has to use the channel for like half a mile to get out to where it's not shallow. So we're in the our 10 foot rib, and we're scooting along, and a powerboat's coming at us head on. Um, so we move over to the right, he moves over to his right, everything's okay, but he stays on plane. And he's gonna pass us with probably 15 feet between us and him, and he stays on plane. And he's throwing a wake, like massive wake. And we're like, ah, what the hell? So I like start waving my arms, I'm like, you're gonna capsize us, like, slow down. And he just keeps right on it, right on plane. So we slowed right down and we turned into his wake and we just motored really, really slow. And the wake came over the top of the front of the boat and put a bunch of water in the boat. Uh, and I'm, of course, screaming because I'm angry. So he stops, so I motor over to him, and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm allowed to go as fast as I want until I get to the end of the channel. Like, sure, that, yeah, fine, there's no speed limit until you get into land, but you're not allowed to swamp people either. So, yeah, we, uh, we got wet, and no. It was dangerous, I mean, imagine if the kids were in there. Yeah. Crazy talk. What are you guys doing? Anyway. Confrontation would have been a little heavier if the kids were Yeah, if the kids were there, it would have been a confrontation. But nonetheless, so we have a friend that is an OPP constable. So uh, she knows about it now, and they've been all over Lighthouse Cove today trying to find his boat. Um, and they're going to be on the, the marine patrol thing. They haven't been out yet this year around here because it's kind of quiet around here. But they're going to be here all weekend, uh, slowing the power boats down as they come in because they've been coming in right past the first two marinas on plane. Uh, and it's sort of washing and eroding the, the rocks that we have up. And we pay a lot of money for the rocks, to, the Gabion stone. So they're going to be taking care of that, um, slowing power boats down. Because they just I like come off plane once you get to the to the land. That's kind of the rule. Um, and they started ignoring it this year. So They're done. They're done. Sure. Anyway, that's it. It's sunny as F. Okay, go. Oh dear. Gymnastics for days. <laughs> You're a silly girl. Okay. Finish it off. Come on. Oh, good job. 